So this is my little airlift pump that uh, uh, pumps water up from down here in the little boat up and goes along and it waters the plants in this thing. So there's the little boat and it waters the beans and peas and all the things that are in it. So you see how it's going here? So it's kind of pulsing, it stops and goes. And <coughs> the air for the pump comes from. Uh, where is it? There's a little control valve, and it just said and leave it. And just was, this is demonstrating what a constriction does to um, to this. To um, the process. So as you can see, uh, the water is speeding up and slowing down. You can see it here on this little bubble too. So the water, and essentially what's happening is, water goes in, gets stuck up here, until there's enough air to push it up further again. And that means that you have, you can probably see in here, the little, little pieces of black moving back and forth. I don't know if you see that. But this is wasting energy because this entire, this entire loop of water, which extends further, is being shunted forward and stops. So there'll be friction and all sorts of stuff. So what I have done, uh, what I do in my pumps is put a constriction. And what the constriction does is it prevents this to and fro movement. And as you see, it's still going. So I just got to do it some more. So it's still going a little. But if you look here, there it's it's starting it's almost stopped now. It's still going a little. And then we should look back up top. And our flow is totally different. Even though the same amount of air or possibly a little more air, but it's going much faster. So I haven't changed the air setting, I've just added a constriction. And this is about twice as fast. I, I measured it yesterday, the difference in speed. And so that simple little thing. See now um, another thing. I'm gonna push this here. And you get it happening again? But it's um, I'm gonna block it off again. So now it's filling up with air. And up with air. Now the head off. So it'll go too far. Stop. And see very quickly, it's over. Now once you open this up, um, it continues well until something happens. See there, it's still working. It's still working fairly good, but now all on its own it has started doing this bounce again. So we're back to this type of flow again. So I go back, make a constriction So even though I'm slowing down the water in, the amount of water that's coming out is faster. And that's, that works for anyone that's designing an airlift pump. And I designed this, I made the constriction idea several years ago, and people were using it very quickly, but um, people keep reinventing the wheel on this, and um, 
much better if you just use what works. Uh, I could explain this uh, in other ways too, but essentially it's it's going twice as quickly. So um, why not use it? So my other ones are airlift in a bucket and um, the T joint airlift, and every single one, every air pump, airlift pump will benefit from constricting the water flow in and having about uh, 20 centimeters or a foot of, um, of uh, between the constriction and the, uh, the T joint. Thank you.